we continue live on BT Sport with four rounds scheduled in the light heavyweight division. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red, Foot Asylum, and Unibet. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, Board Representative Robert W. Smith, Timekeeper Bob Edgeworth. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Marcus McDonald. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing white with green and weighed in at 12 stone, 10 pounds. Coming to us from Lydney, Gloucestershire, he is a veteran of 134 professional bouts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Louis Pucci Von Poch. His opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with gray and weighed in at 12 stone, 12 pounds. Hailing from Chatham, Kent, he was a 2018 Youth Olympic gold medalist, and now tonight he makes his professional boxing debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Carol Italma. We broke out the rules of boxing. Don't explain to you. I want to will say, obey my at all times, watch your eyes and keep it clean. Any questions? Nope. No. Let's go to work. All the best, book. Carol Italma. Towering over his opponent, Louis Van Poch. Six foot one against five foot seven. Van Poch, former soldier, served in Afghanistan. And as you heard, he's had 134 paid boxing engagement. Carol Itauma, debut, great amateur record. But he'll have a few nerves, undoubtedly. And uh, he'll be somebody who, because of the fact that he's come through and done so well as a, as a youth, you must have been aware of, Richie. Yeah, he came up to actually to uh, GB on a, a couple of assessments. I was really impressed with him, and I was, I was quite disappointed when he, he turned professional because, obviously, from a GB point of view, I thought he had a big future. He's a lovely boxer, southpaw, but he's very, very skillful. Obviously, he's, in against someone who's teak tough again, this fella, Van Potts. So he'll have to work for this if he gets the victory here. But yeah, he's got a very, very good jab, good skills, and very talented. And he's young. So yeah, he's got a big future, this lad. Only 20. Slovakian born. Moved over here with his family at the age of seven. Got a British passport a couple of years ago. And he's also away from boxing, training to be a financial advisor. So. Sounds as though he's going to know where his pennies go. Yeah, right? look, looking after his money as well, not bad. Younger brother Enrico is also a boxer. <laughs> but the test t tonight, again, John, will be if you can get this fella out of there, because Van Potch is, is a tough cookie, isn't he? He's he regularly fights. He had 29 contests last year, so, you know, he knows his way around the ring. Very, very tough indeed. Um, so this will be a good test for this young fella. <laughs> Like Jamie Quinn in the last contest, Van Poch is one of those who's pretty indestructible. The last 19 fights he's had. Yep, he's been a loser as journeymen normally are, but he's gone the distance on every occasion. You go back to 2017, he got stopped in that year by Lerone Richards, but there's not been too many who have been able to get rid of him over the years. Lydney in Gloucestershire, where he hails from. What he's got to do here, John, um, Van Poch, he's moved his head when he's boxing at range. He's just on the outside there, he's a bit flat-footed, so he's got to move the head and try and avoid shots. That's what he's got to do, he can't afford just to be flat-footed and just be static in front of the town man who will, who will pick him off. Tama with the little bit of a problem as he just gets clipped by that left-hand lead from Van Poch. So he's got the problem of punching down. Yeah, that's a big problem as well, John. Punching down, you've got to hit the target. Sometimes you can overreach, and that's where the opponent can come back with a counter. Well, who knows where his career's going to go over the years, young Carol Itama but he gets through his first three minutes as a professional and three minutes which he won.
debut for young Carol Itauma, Richard. Corner! Yeah, he worked well in that Ten only round, didn't he, with those jabs there, that straight left hand. So it was a decent opening Pick round for him. Round Let's bring back two. memories for you, I mean. <laughs> We talked about the fact that this is a very different venue I don't know where Carroll will get to, how much he'll achieve in the years ahead, but he, he won't forget fighting here. No, you always remember your, your first pro fight. Uh, one was at Birmingham Town Hall, which is another iconic building and venue. You don't forget your first pro fight. No matter what you've done as an amateur, you never forget your first professional fight. And you're bound to be a little bit nervous as the big cool night approaches. Yeah. <laughs> Tend to find when you come from the amateurs that the pros are a lot harder, tougher, and uh, sometimes you just got to be patient, just keep sticking to your boxing. Rock is nothing if not tough, he certainly knows how to survive. Yeah, right, well, right at the end of the that first round, John, you just come back with a couple of sneaky right hands, well timed shots. So again, it's just made the time to just think about things here. Got to work behind the jab, setting the attacks up. There's a nice switch of attack downstairs to the body. That was nice, but it comes off the jab, which is important. But there's that sneaky right hand again from Van Fox. Nice door shot. Tell the best couple of right hands slide low. That one was right on the belt as well. Goal, keeping a close watch on that. Trained by Dan Woolwich, who was with him at Saint Mar the St Mary's Club and has followed him into the pro ranks. <laughs> That's a fella called Len Woodall did with Richard. <laughs> I think I'm a better chance of landing that right hand as a timer's punching. I'm going to try and sort of avoid the, the jab from a timer and then throw the right hand. He just slip to his left a little bit more and just throw it. And there he was there, that wasn't too far away. You can time that as his opponent's punching. And if the, the momentum of a timer is coming forward, he may just have some more success with that right hand. <laughs> with all the physical attributes for a light heavyweight. <laughs> Similar sort of height as Sinden Arthur, who defended his Commonwealth title later on against Anthony Yard. That time whistling through thin air. <laughs> Learning fight for Carol Itauma. <laughs> Desperate to start as a winner, and that's, I think, a second round. Round three. Third round, it's a four round of this. Promotion as ever, closely checked before being allowed into the fighters' bubble and, and being allowed to actually take part in the night's promotion. One touch there, just moving his head nicely there. Just needed to punch off that movement. Made um, the timer miss with a couple of shots, but didn't reply. The timer working sensible working at distance and behind the jab. There's that movement again, that wasn't too far away from Van Poch. Needs a little bit more of that movement and then hook, hook and right hand off that movement also. But a time at boxing sensible here behind that jab, lead hand. Yeah, very well schooled kid here. until Itama commits himself before he throws that right hand. <laughs> nice variety in the work of Itama. Yeah, 
Yale also bring his left uppercut into play as well. Johnson's got good straight, he's got quality straight shots. And also there's that left uppercut. Nearly gets caught with the left up though from Van Potch. <laughs> Stayed in there with ranks, I guess so there's a good chance that he would certainly would have been in contention for a place in the 2024 Olympics. Absolutely, that's one of the times that we had for him really. That um, he would have stayed, worked his way into the squad into the next Olympics, but he wanted to turn professional. And so we are benefiting from him, John. He's a good kid, and um, yeah, he was a bit disappointed, like I said, when he did turn professional. Couple of years, he'll be hopefully, I'm sure, hopefully making steps up the ranks. Coming through tonight's exercise so far, well enough. Yeah, just going through the gears, what now as well. Is the time impressive? Good round. Ten okay. seconds. Switch on. So, final round coming up. And last round. And Potch almost sprints off his stool. As he comes centre ring, touch gloves, and away we go once more. Nick Jim tattooed on his back, Pucci. I think he's been a decent opponent for his first one for a tournament. Tournament has been able to work well with his job and he's won, it, he's won every round, but just occasionally Van Potts comes back with the odd shot here and there, makes the time a thing. A dangerous right hand and the left up when he can get close. But it's been dom dominant from the tournament. I like what I see, like I said, he's, he's got good, decent skills. He was just getting to Van Fox in the last few seconds of the third round with body shots and signs in the early stages of this fourth that Van Fox is a little bit keener to protect his stomach than previously. And maybe there is still a little bit of residual discomfort from those punches which landed before the bell ended the third. Just looked to the referee when one of the one of the shots landed early in this fourth round where he just looked at him as much as to say was that low are you going to help me are you going to have a word he's just lost his concentration there walking forward slowly he knows he's got to get much closer to his man but he's got to do with the fast movements with the feet and try and move the head which is if you walk forward slowly against this guy he's just going to pick you off and he got caught with a big shot there Michael German, the last thing he wants to do is to get stopped and get some sort of suspension, which is going to stop him quickly getting back into quickly getting back into the ring. Nice right hand counter he landed there though. Yeah, but it's a decent head movement that was this watch. That right hand from the tower really thud home. And again. What I like about the Tamer's work, John, everything's set up behind that jab. It just keeps prodding away, looking for openings. Something comes from behind that jab, either downstairs, the uppercut, a straight left hand there, but then he'll go downstairs with that hook to the body, but it's all off his jab. Just 20 years old, bear in mind. Youngster, a real baby in the game, and tonight making his pro debut and surely registering with a win. Another right hand straight low there. Last few seconds. And Potch, a flurry of punches, as much as to say, well, you might have won, but this is what I could have done. And lands two or three right up to the bell, all in the best of spirits. No question, Carol Itauma has started his pro career as a winner, Rich. Yeah, good performance overall, I thought, from Itauma. Went through the gears in the last couple of rounds. Was tested um, a little bit there towards the end from Van Potch, who I thought was a decent first opponent for him. Tough, 
you know, and caught him with the odd shot here and there. But overall, a time where showed some lovely skills, great jab, great straight left hand. But then he'll switch downstairs also, right up to the body. The left uppercut's a good shot as well. Yeah, he's got a, a lot of decent skills, but he does the basics very well behind that jab. He's got a good future. Yeah, time will tell on that one. Meanwhile, in the immediate future, the scorecard is being handed over to our Master of Ceremonies. And the two fighters are ready, being drawn centre ring by Marcus McDonnell. And Thomas Triber now can tell us how Marcus scored it. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Marcus McDonnell, scores this contest 40 to 36 for your winner and successful tonight in his professional boxing debut. Carol Italma! Nice little round of applause from Lewis Van Potts, who seems a good lad, doesn't he? Carol Italma, good win. How far is he going to go? Time will tell. Well, well, Carol, David Hayson, you look like a boxer having his tenth fight, not his first fight. What did it feel like having your first fight without your vest on? Um, you know what? It's, it's great. Um, I wasn't meant to box. Uh, I wasn't scheduled to box till next year, so um, I got a call last week, ten days notice. I was like, I'm on it. I'm on it. So you didn't have time to think about it too much. No, just that they so lose to get a couple out. of pounds and get in. Absolutely. Now, Richie Woodall was talking, uh, su suggesting that had you stayed as an amateur, 2024 Olympics might have been where you were going. Was that a hard decision to turn your back on that type of stuff and mm -hmm. fight as a pro? Listen. Everyone's different. Like when I started boxing when I was 14, I, I wrote out my goals, and the end goal was always to be a world champion. Obviously, I got a goal in the Youth Olympics, and then I've got a great team around me. We sat down, we spoke about it, and to turn pro was the decision we came up with. And you turn pro against one of the best strongmen survivors in the country. Um, he tried to con you a few times. You didn't fall for his tricks, but he's a tough man, mm -hmm. Louis. Yeah, huge respect to Louis, uh, Lewis. Great, tough, tough opponent. But listen, it's only my first fight. I'm only going to get better, stronger, fitter from here on. And I'm excited what the future holds. And, it's a, and it is a big future. When you're 20 years of age in this business, this business we've got here at the moment, if you stay focused, things come your way. Mm -hmm. When would you, when would you like to fight for something? I know it's only your first mm -hmm. fight tonight, and people might think I'm crazy asking you, but when in your mind would you like to fight for something, Carol? Do you know what? That's down to my team. Um, I'm the, I'm the type of person that likes to under-promise but over-deliver. And um, I'm excited with what the future holds. These first two years is going to be learning curves for me, learning, adapting to what the professional rank is, and then after that, <laughs> ready to go. He's ready to go, Carol, thank you very much. I thank tell you what, much. It's the, it, I think, Paul, it might be the night of the level-headed fighters.